Peace, y'all. Happy Monday. Happy Moon Day. I wanted to hop on real quick and share something. Um, so, yeah. So, listen. When you're walking in your own purpose and you are walking in the guidance of spirit and you really are walking in that, Many pe peace, many people not gonna understand you. Peace, peace, y'all. Peace, brother. Peace. Many people are not gonna not not only won't people understand you, but there will be many who will pass judgment, and they may not mean any harm, but they will pass judgment on how you think and how you believe and the the moves you choose to make and the things you choose to do by your own guidance they will pass judgment and try to help you or teach you something or help protect you or they'll try to they may judge and say oh they must not know what reality is they must not really know how scared they should be <laughs> that's that's essentially what a lot of that vibe be they must don't know how scared they should be they must don't know how unrealistic they really are and essentially what they're saying essentially what they're saying oftentimes is you're delusional i'm telling you this could be your friends this could be your family this could be your spouse this could be people who really love you they will in, in in instances where you are following the guidance of the lord of your existence when you are following the guidance of spirit your inner guidance systems your own intuition you have that relationship with spirit you've been earnestly seeking guidance you you have this knowing that if i seek the guidance of spirit my lord I won't be led astray and you feel it it's something you feel it's something you feel and oftentimes it's something you can't explain because it's inexplainable that's why they call it it's a peace that surpasses all understanding it's a secret room it's a closet you feel me so you're not going to be able to explain in a way you may be using the words that you feel people can understand you with but it's a vibration that's a part of those words that people don't get and so for your sake people will try to protect you teach you help you to uh convince you a uh, reason with you bruh and people will cast spells on you without the intention to do so and some will cast them with the intention to do so and they i'm not saying they in the room stirring a pot no no no, no. they're saying it with their opinions sharing their opinions well uh you what do you want to hear my opinion about it you know sure and then we want to be kind we want we don't want people to feel that we're narcissists we don't want people to feel like that we are unreasonable we don't want people to feel like we don't we don't uh uh um, 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 um value their opinion i don't in many cases your opinion does not hold value that trumps the guidance that i'm under and your opinion will potentially cast spells plant seeds in my mind that's not in alignment with my guidance and that's a problem because those seeds become weeds in my garden and it becomes doubt those weeds they manifest as doubt as fears double-mindedness all these different type of things this happens all the time i felt very compelled to share this this morning I felt very compelled to share this. So I pray that this message is heard, that you that you receive it, the, whoever this message is for, that you receive it and you hear what I'm saying. When you earnestly seek 
first of all, let's back up. When you come to an understanding that you are a spiritual being, <laughs> that you are a spiritual being, therefore there is a spirit. There is spirit that resides in you. Some people call it inner guidance system. It manifests as intuition. It manifests as gut feelings. It manifests as understanding sometimes when you come across uh, uh, um, knowledge and wisdom. When you get that understanding. You are a spiritual being. Therefore, you have spirit as presence within you and around you. And it is the life force energy that is sustaining your life. It's the same life force energy that sustains the world. And your life has a divine path, purpose, and promises. And within that path, purpose, and promises, there is guidance. That in order to stay on your path, stay in your purpose, and attain your promises, you must follow that guidance. Now, once you come to that understanding, you receive that, you give over to that, you like, yes, this is it, this is it. You will naturally begin to seek guidance through prayer, through quiet time, through reflection, through the, your walk. Just as you walk, you walk quietly, you're slow to anger, you're slow to judge, your, judgment, your judgments are not so linear and, and harsh. You are looking for the good. You're looking for the lessons. You're looking for the way. You are bending and bowing and humbling yourself. These are the way of your life. And so you are privileged with some divine guidance. But on that journey, you must move away from seeking validation outside of yourself. And some people will perceive that as you becoming full of yourself as you becoming hard to talk to, as you feeling like you know it all, as you feeling like, you know, some people will perceive it as that. Because many, if not most, people are conditioned to seek outside validation from other people. Many are conditioned to believe that most anyone living before you, anyone who has lived before you, may have more wisdom than you because you come in this world not understanding what the you really is and that you come just as the caterpillar programmed with everything with the source of life that has the divine knowledge that you need in order to to nothing the caterpillar think about the caterpillar in the chrysalis stage as it's growing it needs nothing outside of it to blossom into this butterfly that is unique every wing of each butterfly is unique in itself though i can't we can't put a number on how many butterflies in the world if we could put a number on it whatever that number is every single one of them there is not one that is the same you too are like that caterpillar you come with the divine knowledge programmed within you again some people call it inner guidance system when you decide that that is true for you and you begin to walk the walk of practicing, seeking that guidance, people will perceive you as being full of yourself, as you being unrealistic, as you being naive, as you being green, as you being uh, 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 nonchalant, whatever they may perceive. I'm telling you, it's just a part of it. Because they themselves have their own understanding of life, divine guidance. It's all that for them. And oftentimes when it don't line up, most are not developed enough to allow people to feel how they feel, think how they think, walk how they walk, talk how they talk, and let that be genuinely. They may tolerate it. They may tolerate it. They may be developed in their morals enough to be able to respect it. 
But can they fully align with it, fully support it, fully... Unless it's in alignment with where they at, oftentimes they can't. And so what happened? You start telling people the guidance that God give you. You try to explain to people and they start trying to tell you why you're wrong. What, what you need to watch out for. I get that and I understand that and that's all well and good. But look out for this. Make sure you look out for that. Look out. Don't tell me anything to look out for. I'm on a straight and narrow path. I'm single-mindedly focused. I'm single-eyed. I'm trying to be single-eyed in this thing. You cannot walk a single-eyed path and you got your eyes on everything else. And you can't... And, and no matter how much they feel that it is true, it's true. I'm telling you. I can give you the data. I can show you what happened last year. What happened to this person? What happened to that person? What happened to this? What happened to that? When you under the guidance of the of the Almighty... It don't apply to you. When you are under the guidance of the Almighty for your life, none of that other stuff applies to you. If you can receive that, that'll take you a long way. You will stay on your path. You will stay in your purpose and you will be guaranteed your promises. You will be guaranteed access to your promises but you have to stay on your path in your purpose and in order to get your promises seek guidance for your path seek guidance for your purpose got it good happy monday i just wanted to share that word i had an experience over the weekend and it 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 was like I just saw it so clearly how people are so committed to first of all what they see, what they've experienced, what um happened to other people, what happened in other things, in order for them to compare and contrast to see what is right for them. I'm not going off of that. I'm, I'm past, I give thanks, but I want to push past mediocre creation. My desire is to, not. we used to say, or it has been uttered for many years, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. My desire is to have, is, be, is to be a spiritual being having a spiritual experience that's my desire <laughs> so i'm learning more and more and you know, sometimes i feel like i can talk to certain people about certain things because of where they're at in their mind but i'm learning more and more you're gonna talk to less and less and less and less people because less and less and less people <laughs> are gonna understand you when you are earnestly seeking to walk in the guidance of the almighty for your life for your path your purpose and for your promises you're gonna have you're gonna speak to less people and if you find yourself having a hard time speaking less telling people stuff asking people questions and all of that and you need to do a little bit more work of going inside you need to do a little bit more work of giving over to to your own guidance system you need to do a little bit of work in that if you still feel quite attached to or addicted to, oftentimes, seeking outside validation. Because oftentimes when you're talking to people about um, what you got going on or, or what spirit told you or what you're going to do, you're seeking outside validation. Some, sometimes, I, I, won't, I can't say how much of each, but sometimes you're just grateful and you want to share with somebody because you feel good about it. But you just got to be careful with both. You got to be careful with both. You got to, oftentimes you have to keep it to your chest. You just got to walk in it. Walk in it and let your light shine. You know what I'm saying? Your light shining is you sharing your story. Your light shining is your testimony. Your testimony don't always have to be said verbally. It's felt because it's seen. It's seen through you. It's felt through your light. And so you don't have to tell it all. No worries. And just, you know, stay under the guidance when you do decide to share. All right, that's it. That's all, y'all. I got to get going. I got to get going. I'm going to stop running my mouth. Uh, full moon is this week. It's on Thursday. 
Of course, I have a full moon meditation that I'll be doing. So you can uh, register for that at the link in bio or the link in caption if you're watching this on YouTube. Peace.